Angela. And I'm Nat. And, and we're, we're Chucky Chums. Chums. You know what I just realised? We're sitting on different sides this time. Ooh! I don't think this has ever happened. I feel like I've always been on that side of you. This side of your face looks weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was at a food shop in Coles recently and I got extremely excited down the international aisle. I was down the international aisle where the normally available in Australia stuff is, like Indian, Chinese, Korean, like Asian y food, European food, Mexican food, Western food. Um, and then I got really excited. My, my little cousin actually pointed out, she goes, There's British food! I got really excited. <laughs> we have never tried any of this food, so this is a complete first reaction. Australians try British, British food. food. First item we're gonna try is potato salt and vinegar flavoured potato crisps. Potato as in potato, I get it. Ah! <laughs> so chips. They smell flavourless. Not very salty or vinegary. No. The very subtle flavour. Next! Next we have Twiglets! Like shapes, but in a stick. Well, they kind of feel like cereal. Mm. They kind of look like a really demented long cocoa pop, but they don't, but like not chocolatey. I don't like the smell. These are original. Oh! And tastes like. I don't Vegemite. like it. <laughs> it tastes like. Yeah! It tastes like Vegemite, and so I'm assuming Marmite. Um, it's weird. It tastes like burnt toast. I don't hate it. I don't like it. Why am I eating another one? You know what it tastes like? It tastes like if pretzels were covered in Vegemite. But I like, like Vegemite, but I didn't like those. The next thing we have is Club Orange with real bits. Pulpy soft drink. Pulpy soft drink. Because these were sitting on my kitchen bench for a while, we've got a cup with ice. <laughs> we're not going to drink it straight out again, but you know. Smells nice. Yeah, it smells, smells like fennel. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, it's like orange juice colour, but it's fizzy. That's odd. Do you mind slurping a drink that I'm about to drink out of? How does it taste? Very, very subtle Fanta, like when you get it from Macca's and it's really watered down. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. I don't really like it. We have a Cadbury Whisper, which we will probably be... I feel like I'm going to like it. Yeah, we'll probably be less indifferent towards this What's because... What's this say, though? It just says a so aerated, aerated milk, milk chocolate. chocolate bar. Like an aero bubble. So it's an aero. But they have arrows. What's that? They have what arrows in... You... <sighs> oh, it's not as bubbly as an aero. It's like a solid aero. It like, literally doesn't look bubbled at all. There's like three bubbles in this. I'm going to bite it. Can I bite it? Yeah, you can bite it. I just want to take it a bit off. Ooh, that smells. It smells really good. What does that smell like? Easter eggs. Oh, I inhaled yeah. it. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Yum. That is so good. It's almost crumbly. Mmm. Mmm. A flake. flake. <laughs> Do they have flakes in the UK? I don't know. Do you have flakes? Mm. If you're from the UK, let us know if you have flakes and if these whisper things remind you of flake. I feel like it's a hybrid between flake and arrow. Next up we have wine pastels. Pastels? Um, pastels? Pastels? Pastel. My friend got back from England. Um, she spent about three months there. She told me these didn't taste very great. I put a photo of all the foods that we've tried up on Instagram. Um, and she commented on the Facebook version saying that these really tasted bad, so I'm kind of scared. Please open it nicely. Don't make them fly everywhere like I'm not Joey's gonna spoon fly bed. everywhere. Geez, you couldn't have opened that neater. They don't smell. I tried to. They smell weird. I'm gonna go for a. Oh, they smell like um. They smell like um. Those dolls? other ones that look like these. Oh yeah, but they don't have like sugar over yeah, them. Yeah, no, stuff. they smell I'm like sugary go dolls. Okay. What if it's a port wine flavor? Oh. <laughs> I don't really taste anything. Mmm. It's just very dense. Like, they're really dense and chewy. Mm, it doesn't taste that good. I don't really have a taste. It tastes like the kind of thing that you'd get from a doctor when they're like, Oh, you've got a needle. Have a, have a lolly. Out of the jar. Mine tastes good. Try the red one. Oh, like red. No, no. seriously. Try it. No, I don't want to. 
They were really hard to chew, but yeah, they're really dense and like mm. thick and chewy. Next up on our thingy, Ame. Ame. Yeah. I got really annoyed when I saw this because this is a Marmite container, is it not? And um, you can buy Marmite in Australia, but it's not in that package. It seems just like a peanut butter. Or... <laughs> oh, it just smells like Vegemite. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it looks like it's a different texture though. Whoa! That smells like Vegemite. It literally smells the same as Vegemite. It smells a little bit nicer though. Like not as strong. I feel like it's. Can I just say? Strong. It says delicious when spread thinly on toast. Right? If so many people will try Vegemite and just cake it on. Thin like, layers, people. Oh, really? our spoons have arrived. Ooh. Spoons. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna get a lot because oh, I don't want it. I don't want the top. I just did. Okay. Oh, that's a weird texture. That's not the same as Vegemite. It oh. smells like it, but that's probably even too much just to eat on its own. I don't want a lot. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like Vegemite. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about eating it on its own, but I eat Vegemite on its own. That's why I'm licking it because I don't mind the taste of it. I just don't want a lot of it in my mouth. I spread it on the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. oh, I just did that by accident, and I don't like. <clears throat> do British no. people do this? <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> they'll see the big spoon I just put in there. Oh wow! See, when you get too much at once, it's like hmm. <laughs> That's a bit stronger than Vegemite. It's, yeah, it's a weird texture. Like Vegemite's more dark and dense, whereas that's kind of my mouth is loopy. watering so bad right now. <laughs> Next, we have something that I am pretty sure I'm looking forward to, and that is the milk chocolate tea cakes. Ooh. These were ridiculously expensive. Are they expensive in England? Can you let us know? Like for six tea cakes, these were way, way more than what I thought I would be paying for. Six tea cakes, a delicious biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with. Real milk chocolate. Like there's Australian biscuits like that. I know there is. They look like those things my dad put back in the Yeah, because you gave me a few of those. Oh, I, get it in here. I know in Australia you can get biscuit based marshmallow chocolate covered over the top. I know that you can, but I can't Sounds remember what cool. they taste like, so. Oh! Hmm. Mm. They taste like the things that I've gotten before. It's like got marshmallow fluff inside of it instead of actual marshmallows and I like Yeah, it. I like that. Mm. <laughs> Next we have a Cadbury Double Decker, which I've never seen before, but it, it says... It looks very British. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's not something you'd normally see on an Australian shelf. Like, I know it's kind of weird to say, oh, that looks British, but like, honestly... Double Decker, they have those buses. Anyway. We only have like one in Sydney and that's like a tourism thing. Mm. It says milk chocolate with a soft, chewy nougat top and crunchy cereal bottom. I'm not sure how I feel about nougat. Nougat? Nougat? Nougat. Nougat. Nog. No, that's uh, That stuff. I don't like cereal in chocolate. Hello, Mars Bar. Mm. They sell Mars Bar in the UK, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. Oh. I don't really like nougat. This is very, kind of stringy and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like biscuit stuff. Oh god. Much prefer the other chocolate. <laughs> it's got a familiar taste. It's like a Mars bar but with nougat. Nougat. Can someone tell us how to say say that please? Mars bar's got nougat in it. Does it? It's caramel and nougat, you dick. I don't eat Mars bars. Alright. So we didn't like that. The second to last that we are going to try is called the I don't even know how to pronounce it. Urn brew. Urn brew. Drink. I R N B R U, and then it says like bar with the double R in the middle. It is a sparkling soft drink with a unique blend of mixed fruit flavors. What does it smell like? Oh, I like that smell. I don't think I do. Oh, it's orange. Cool. Stop. I feel like it's going to taste like an orange super duper. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. No, I like neither do you. No. <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't taste like an orange zuper duper. <laughs> so the last thing we have, what's it called? I am so excited. We have pot noodle. Chicken and mushroom flavor. I'm really excited about pot noodle because Heston Blumenthal did a, he does a TV show where he like recreates things from certain eras. 
and in one of the eras he did pot noodle I th it was either the 70s or the 80s I feel like it was probably the 80s and he did like a massive pot noodle and it looked really really cool and ever since then I've really wanted to try pot noodle so when I found this I got so excited so rip off lid whip out the sachet add boiling water to fuel level leave alone for two minutes stir leave for another two minutes stir again find sachet add contents grab fork and dig in make sure you eat it while it's hot do not reheat okay so we've let our pot noodle sit and create itself for the amount of time okay so we've got chicken and mushroom flavored noodles this just looks like a soupier version of two, two minute, minute noodles, noodles except these took four minutes <laughs> They're also a bit thicker than normal they noodles. They smell quite nice as well. You do that so you don't spill. Okay. And then I'll try. I feel like it's going to be really hot. Probably. Mm, it's too much. Now the only thing I know about pot noodle is what I've learned from Hessen Blumenthal. And that is that they... Um, the, all the rage in the 70s or the 80s, I feel like it's that, probably the 80s, because it was dinner in four minutes. Just add a little bit. Ooh. Might as well just. Yeah, it's enough. Okay. I like it so far. Yeah, it tastes nice so far. Oh, it's good on me. <laughs> oh, I smell a lot nicer with the soy sauce. Huh? Mmm. That is really good. It's like a creamier, chickenier version of our chicken Maggie noodles. Is that Maggie or Maggie? I've never known. It was Maggie, isn't that what they say on the ad? I can't remember what they say on the ad. I do like this. I think that's probably my favourite thing aside from the tea cakes. Like, my favourite sweet thing was definitely the tea cakes. This was like the only savoury thing. And it's the only savoury thing. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these sort of videos where we try foods, then please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment letting us know what your favourite food is that's like typical from where you come from. And subscribe to see new videos twice a week. Bye! Like a sunrise. Oh, Rhonda, you're so. What is it? No, oh, you're so naughty. Rhonda, you're so hot like a sunrise. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. No, you're fat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>